I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to represent fractions on a number line especially when the fractions are with different denominators. So the question here is represent 3 over 4, 6 over 12, 5 over 8 on a number line. right? You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well let's first make a number line. Let's see, this is our number line. okay? Now on this number line we have to represent the given fractions. So if you look at these fractions, we could, uh, let's rewrite these fractions as they are 3 over 4. So these are where when we divide 1 into 4 equal parts, we take 3 out of them. 6 out of 12. Now 6 out of 12 can be simplified, right? You could write this as half. Do you see that? So 6 out of 12 can be written as half dividing both by 2. So this number here could be written as half since we can divide both by 6 and then we get this number and then we have 5 out of 8. So think like this 5 out of 8 is like 4 plus 1 so slightly more than half. Do you see? Anyway we'll rather explore it more while plotting on a number line. And let us say that this is the zero for us, okay? And let's take a number one here somewhere. And this is, let us say, number one. Now, all these three fractions which we are talking about are between zero and one. So that is one thing we know. Now, how to represent them on number line? Half is probably the easiest number. Just go to the center of this and let us say that this is half for us, right? So let me draw a big line here saying half and I'll write half here. So half or 6 by 12 is same thing, right? 6 by 12 is same as half. So we got the first fraction which is half. Now to get 3 over 4, we have to divide this number 1 into 4 equal parts, right? Now 4 equal parts means half of half is 1 fourth. So, so this is our, let us say, these are 1 fourths now, right? Now we know this is uh, 1 fourth, right? Let me write down 1 fourth. Half could also be written as 2 out of 4. This could be written as 3 out of 4. In that case, that becomes what? 4 out of 4, right? Since we need to represent 3 out of 4, so I'll kind of make a circle here. So we have represented two points. One is 6 out of 12, and here we have our first point, which is 3 out of 4. Now the question is, how to represent 5 out of 8? Now one way is, you can divide this one into 8 equal parts. That means, these are 4 equal parts, 1 fourth, half of those. So, so those are 8, half of this, half of this, half of this, and half of this. And then you can count 5, so these are 1 eighths, right? These are your 1 eighths. Now count 5 of them, so this is 1. 2, 3, 4, and this is 5. Is it okay? So this one here is 5 out of 8. Slightly more than half, correct? You can check if it is right, how to check it. That is what we should also do. 5 out of 8, right? Think like this. 5 out of 8 is equal to 4 plus 1 out of 8. Is it okay? So that is 4 out of 8 plus 1 out of 8. 1 eighth more than 4 out of 8. And what is 4 out of 8? It is kind of half, right? So half plus 1 eighth. So you'll see this is 1 eighth more than half. Do you see that? 1 eighth more than half. So we could have done like this straight from half also, right? Anyway, you have understood how to actually plot the points on a number line when we have different denominators. The idea is to divide the line into the number of pieces, equal pieces, as the denominator is. But more important is sometimes we may have to simplify, right? So simplify a fraction as we did for 6 out of 12, correct? Now based on this, here is a practice question for you. This time I'll give you like one third, right? Or we could have um, something over 6, 5 over 6. 
So you can divide into three portions, six portions, and I'll represent half in a similar way as I did here. So I'll write four out of eight, right? So sometimes if you start dividing the line to eight equal parts and then go for four, it takes longer. But if you reduce this to half and then do it, it may be a bit shorter time for you, right? So I hope you have understood the concept that is for you to practice. So now you can sketch another line and divide this. Here is a quick solution. So you'll do like this. You'll draw a line as we did earlier. Mark your zero, okay, and then mark your one. These numbers are between zero and one. I could have given you numbers greater than one also. And then also look at the numbers. Four out of eight is same as half, right? So we are actually looking for half, 1 over 3 and 5 over 6. So half is easy. Go midway and that is your half, right? This is your half. So you get your first point which is half. One third really means that you're dividing to three equal parts, right? So let's say these are my three equal parts, right? So these seems to be three equal parts. One third means first, right? First one third, one third. 5 over 6 means you have to divide these one-thirds into their halves. Okay, so then you get then you get one-sixth. So each is one-sixth. We are looking for five-sixths. That means one, two, three, four, and five. Five-six will be right here. One-sixth less than one. So this left out portion will be one sixth do you see so that is how you could do it i hope the concept is clear thank you and all the best